The adjusting entries for merchandisers are basically the same as those for service firms, with the exception of the possibility of adjusting the inventory account. Perpetual inventory trackers must take a physical count of inventory at least once a year to make sure the inventory account balance is correct. If it is different, then an adjusting entry is required to correct it. The adjusting entry for inventory is a debit to cost of goods sold and a credit to inventory. Sometimes those are reversed, but that's usually uh, correcting an error rather than a true adjusting entry. So let's look at an example. Assume that Championship Vinyl has an unadjusted balance of $20,500 in inventory. That balance comes from the accounting cycle step four, the unadjusted trial balance. After a physical count, Championship Vinyl determines that its actual mer merchandise inventory at year end is $19,000. So it has to make a $1,500 adjusting entry so that physical inventory amounts equal the ledger balance for inventory. The closing entries for merchandisers are the same as those for service firms, except we have new temporary accounts uh, that must be included in the closing process. Since sales returns and allowances, sales discounts, and costs of goods sold all have normal debit balances, they get closed with credits and are included in the expenses closing entry. Revenues get closed with debits to the revenue account and a credit to income summary. Expenses and contra-revenue accounts get closed with credits and income summary is debited. Income summary has, has a balance of a credit balance of $10,000, so it gets closed with a debit and owner's capital is credited for $10,000. Finally, owner's withdrawals is closed with a credit and a debit to owner's capital.